Echinoid fossils, those little star-marked stones you find on UK fields and beaches. But what if I told you these weren't just fossils? They might hold an ancient Paleolithic secret. This is a microster, one of the most common types. And here are a few classic echinoids. Beautiful, simple, but were they desired by Stone Age people? Echinoids are the fossilized remains of sea urchins, dating back millions of years. People have been finding them for centuries, and they've gathered some curious names. Shepherd's crowns, fairy bread, thunderstones. In the past, they were even thought to have magical powers. But here's the question. How do they end up on the surface? One theory. They weren't just left by nature. Evidence suggests they could have been mined and collected and used by ancient humans. Why? Because their shape and hardness made them perfect as hammerstones and abraders for flint napping. These few in the video were all found in connection with Paleolithic flint tools, and I have many more, some with ochre etching that's Paleolithic crayons to us ordinary folk. And then there's this one, an extreme rarity. It's different, heavier replaced by hematite, an iron mineral. That's rare enough, but look closer. It's been modified. Here on the base is the clear profile of an elephant's head. Coincidence? Not a chance. It comes from a site where elephant art carved into flint can be found, and I've been banging on about it for years. These fossils may not just be remnants of ancient seas. They might be the silent witnesses to the earliest art and symbolism in human history. What do you think? Artifact or accident? Let me know in the comments. Eoliths, the true source of this ancient art knowledge, subscribe for more.